Happy New Year, everyone. This is the follow-up video to the December 21st, 2020 video. If you haven't watched it, you can watch it right here. And if you're new here, I'm Zaina and I like to explain things. So if you would like things explained to you, hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell and let me know in the comments if you'd like me to explain something. So we 100% know that the great conjunction, the Christmas star, whatever you want to call it, happened. And if you'd like to see a photo that I took with my iPhone, you can check it out on my Instagram page, which is listed in the description below. Another thing that we now know for sure, which is something that a lot of people pointed out in the comments of my last video, is that the monoliths were created by the YouTuber I Did a Thing. I've put a link to the video in the description below. And finally, another thing that we know that happened on December 21st, 2020 is that there was a global meditation. I don't know a ton about how this went down, but I do know that it occurred at 1.22 p.m. EST on December 21st, 2020, and that the goal was to bring in a peaceful and joyful and hopefully better than 2020, 2021. I was really hoping that this meditation would help prevent 2020 part two, but as we saw yesterday with the Capitol being stormed, we are just getting started. In case you didn't notice, the world did not end on December 21st, 2020. I would also like to say that I never said it was going to end on December 21st, 2020, but a lot of people were asking me about it in the comments, and so I thought I'd address it. <laughs> there was no blackout, clearly the world did not end, and hopefully you all had a great Christmas if that's your thing, and a wonderful New Year's that included not being around a bajillion other people and continuing the spread of coronavirus. Because your girl is not ready for 2020 part two. At all. Like... This bull it needs to end. In other news, unfortunately, the government did not admit that aliens are real. And before you come at me about that Israeli government official that came out and said that there's a Galactic Federation and a base on Mars and all of that, I want you to think about this. Why, of all the countries and all the places that the aliens could talk to, are they only talking to America and Israel? Come on, people. However, thanks to the bill that was signed by the government to make sure that the government didn't shut down and that our stimulus checks went out and that basically got more unemployment and all that stuff that we should have gotten months ago, we do know that the government only has 180 days to reveal to us what it knows about UFOs. But keep in mind that UFOs can literally be anything that are categorized as unidentified flying objects, which could be like a bird that no one knows the species of. So I wouldn't expect a lot to come out of this part of the bill. Something that I did say may or may not happen in my last video is that we would move from a 3D to a 5D world, aka the Great Solar Flash, aka the Age of Aquarius, aka whatever you want to call it. Similar to the last video, this is something that I can't say did or didn't happen. The whole logic behind this theory is that some people would move to a higher vibrational world where others would stay where we are, which is considered a lower vibrational world, and that you wouldn't know which world you ended up on until you saw what was happening around you. If good things are happening around you, you made it to 5D, congratulations. If you're like me and you're living in the world where the capital was stormed, apparently Kanye is cheating with Jeffree Star, which I think that's hilarious. Sorry guys, I don't think we made it. But, you know, there might be hope because the Senate was flipped so maybe we're in like a 4D world in the middle. I don't really know. If you enjoyed this video and would like more content like this occasionally, please hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, and I will see you next week for your attention span sucks because of this. Thanks for watching and stay cool.